guys welcome back to my channel it's Debbie in the building in today's video there is something that been bothering me I want to discuss with you guys I just want to share my own views on this topic I know you guys must have seen the topic what I want to talk about this African white woman I just noticed that these days people focus more on wedding neglecting marriage is so people invest so much they invest their money their time their energy in wedding in planning for this wedding some people go as far as getting a wedding planner just to plan for this one day event this one day event called wedding neglecting marriage that is a lifetime event wedding is just one day event why marriage is a lifetime event but oftentimes we we discover that people tend to neglect life after wedding wedding people will come friends relatives fans for that day after that day they will leave you and your spouse alone that is when reality of life steps in that is when the real life <laughs> steps in that is when marriage begins i don't think it's necessary to invest your lifetime savings on marriage on wedding rather neglecting marriage because at the end of the day when unforeseen circumstances hits you when problems of life comes up on you what will you do then you have you must have used your life savings and all you have for the wedding then you'll be left with no choice but running around begging which i know that all those people that came for your wedding they might not help you so why then will you now live your life to impress them why then will you focus on impressing them and pleasing them by spending all you have just for wedding and the worst part of everything is no matter how big your wedding is no matter how elaborate your wedding is there are still people that will still complain there are still people that will still talk about your wedding there are still people that will say negative things about your wedding so why then will you impress them why then will you spend all you have just because you want to do wedding it doesn't make any sense to me honestly if you don't have money instead of depriving yourself from your marriage being blessed just go to the church you can change your vows with your spouse and bless your marriage and life goes on you mustn't throw party you mustn't uh, uh, use all you have you mustn't go growing is the height of it that one is the worst because at the end of the day what if you should, what if you don't realize the money that you spent what happens you start begging or you start managing or start crying for help it doesn't make any sense while you have a whole lot of future ahead of you you still have more what if unforeseen circumstances comes up something happens what will you do it doesn't make any sense guys to me it doesn't make any sense the best thing is for you to make do with what you have cut your coat according to your size you must you it's not even important in, in fact it's not even necessary at all because i know that this uh, uh, elaborate and, and throwing parties for wedding is what societal pressure brought upon us because we care more of what people will say if i don't do it this way now they will say if you like throw an elaborate wedding people will still talk if you like don't even do wedding at all people will talk so why focus on what people will say people will, people will always talk the most important thing is for you to be at peace with yourself because if you use your life savings or borrow money for wedding and at the end of the day unforeseen circumstances hits you you start running around for help which all those people that came to your wedding they might not help you what will come of you then so to do or die affair throwing elaborate wedding wedding party it is not a do or die affair my people do your own do you the rest of the world will definitely adjust 
do it in your own little way and free yourself from being frustrated free yourself from uh, uh, living a, a more complicated life making yourself more uncomfortable frustrating yourself which <laughs> at the end of the day you'll be the one to suffer it <laughs> no one else will be there to help you no one else will be there to bear your pain for you rather let's invest more in marriage let's plan our life save those money save our money invest our money for marriage invest the money for our kids that this so called is something that we copied from the white people in real cases they, they you see them inviting crowd they will just invite few of their friends and few of their family members and that is all they don't spend to go about spending money or borrowing money just for wedding a white man can, or a white woman can never do that white people cannot do that but we africans we tend to overdo things we always like overdoing things we just like making our life com uh, complicated we like frustrating ourselves honestly honestly it doesn't just make any sense it's okay for you to walk down the eyes without celebrating or make, uh, playing an elaborate way there's absolutely nothing wrong with going to the church and blessing your marriage without spending or throwing an elaborate way there's absolutely nothing wrong with that yes you might be saying people will talk and all that let them talk they have their mouths let them talk if you celebrate your, your wedding in a big way people will still talk there are still people that will talk and if you don't celebrate it in a big way people will still talk so why impressing people why impressing and pleasing people and displeasing yourself frustrating your life making your life more complicated it doesn't make any sense it doesn't make any sense it doesn't make any sense at all anyway if you have anything contrary to what i'm what i just said you have your own views and your own opinion you can leave them in the, top, um, in the comment section let's continue the discussion today what do you think about this white wedding african white wedding stuff what do you think about it let's continue the discussion below please if you are hearing noise in the background i'm so sorry please neglect it my baby <laughs> i just told myself that i must film this video today so guys that is all i have to say concerning this topic if, if you are new to my channel you're highly welcome please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share don't forget to like and comment see you all in my next video bye